Hey everybody, I'm the Maple Man, Canadian, middle-aged, and an excited Sims 4 Winterfest player. Okay, that sounded better in my head than it came out, but that's okay. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back to part... 16. I have to check now. I'm losing track of how far we are along. It's so exciting. I'm so happy about that. But welcome back to part 16 of my Masters of Evil gameplay. Uh, I'm really excited. Like I said in my weird sort of uh, intro, um, it is Winterfest and I'm excited for uh, my evil doers in this gameplay because I have a lot of ideas for this part. Um, just to bring you up to speed, in the last part, poor Nancy did pass on. We will miss her cleaning up and repairing stuff around the house because now we have to like pay money to replace it. Um, but also, uh, Bethany and Rigoberto visited the Goths because Bethany had to get something sorted out with Bella, which may be a continuing story. We'll see. I'm not. Don't think in this part because, like I said, I do want to focus on Winterfest. And Bobby, the little troublemaker, has snuck out and had a bit of a teenage uh, night out at the club, which is. Yeah, sort of fits the character <laughs> for now. <laughs> he had a lot of fun. He kind of made friends, kind of didn't, but they didn't really like him. So it was kind of a weird evening for him. But he he, he came away from that with uh, some thoughts, which I think we're going to get into in this part. I'm really excited for this part. Thank you, everybody, for, for watching. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or anything you'd like to say, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I do check... Uh, comments and when I can I do try to reply um, I think that's enough said now let's play Masters of Evil the Winterfest special let's play so I, I made a few changes around the house for this part um, I decided to move uh, I wasn't sure at first who to move down here but I thought the little house now that it was empty it should be Bobby's um, so I moved some of his stuff down here. I'm not sure if he can use this um, chemistry set anymore now that he's a teenager, so I got him something a little more uh, powerful. Uh, I checked their inventory. They had a ton of stuff from the old place, so we sold it to get our money back up and to buy a few of these extra things here. I expanded the mausoleum a little bit. Oop, I missed a window. I'll have to fix that in a bit. And I can put the cow plant in there. So the cow plant and the two urns are in there. Um, I think the door is still locked for everybody. Um, when I see the cow plant hungry, we'll, we'll fix that. I also saw uh, that you can buy cauldrons. I didn't know that, so I thought, hey, Rose needs something. It is Winterfest, so, oh, actually, I'm wondering if I should put these in people's inventory and then gift them to, to Bobby. Like, Bethany could give that to Bobby, and someone could give that to Rose, because it, well, actually, no, we're not going to do that because we are going to get a tree. I'm going to do that in a couple of minutes because I thought about it. And I thought, you know, if they all have a miserable winter fest, then um, they're all going to be sad or down. And at least if they get some presents or whatever, um, it should be uh, okay. So I'm, I'm hoping to do that. And they don't hate each other. I mean, they hate other people, but they actually like each other. So I think we should do that. So I'm going to set up a Christmas tree here. It's really early on Wednesday morning, Winterfest morning. So that's where we're going to start. And I do have, I do have some plans for today. There we go. That's so festive for our evildoers. So nothing too fancy. So I think they'll, they'll open up some gifts. We won't watch all of them. We just want to make sure that they have a decent um, Winterfest, and then I'll get someone, I think Rigoberto is actually the best at cooking, so I think we'll get him um, making hot dogs for everybody, or maybe Rose could do something in the cauldron. I'm just going to quickly replace this. Bobby, no, oh, is this door locked for everybody, but allow access to the household. That's probably why he wasn't going to go to his bed. There we go. Now this locked door for uh everyone but bobby yeah because bobby's going to take care of the uh the cow plant maybe bobby and rose but we'll we'll hang on a little bit rigoberto sleeping um okay tristan is uncomfortable well why don't you clean that up and then uh we'll continue on your skill because um today we are going to just work on their skills 
I have a couple things for later in the in the, the quote unquote day. Um, but for now, I'm just going to work on your skills a little bit. I think Rose has been meditating for like a day, but her needs are fine. She is so zen right now. I don't know if that's how you do it, but that's how I did it. <laughs> so, and I also noticed in the inventory, um, show you around a little bit more, there was this strange painting in the inventory that had nothing on it, and I thought, you know what? It's art. Let's put it up. And I don't think it has an emotional aura either. And then, of course, since we moved Bobby into the, the guest house, I just, you know, quickly did a little, a little switch up here for... For Bethany. So the upstairs is for Bethany, and hopefully her boyfriend will move in at some point. What is Bethany doing? She is mopping. How are her vampire needs? She's okay. Oh, she has six power points. Why don't we have a look at that now? Oh, actually, let's get Tristan working on another video first. Uh, but let's record a Christmas video, a pumped up vlog. It's going to be Christmas. Uh, I keep saying Christmas. Winterfest. Winterfest. So. He's going to record a Winterfest video. That's going to be his role for today. Bethany, while he's doing that, because that's going to take a little bit of time, let's look at your vampire powers. Because you have six points. Let's see what you can do. I'd love for you to be able to um, not be affected by the sun. Oh, can we do this one? Conflicts with sun resistance. Thin skin makes the skin more harmful makes the sun more harmful than normal no 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 i want um cast hallucination that'd be fun eternally welcome occult student occult disciple um vampire creation gain the power to turn other sins into vampires Ooh, that'd be a good one garlic immunity command control the minds of other sins hmm vampiric strength Vampiric Charm. So I like Command. She can have others perform cleaning, repairing, and other joyful household tasks instead of what they were ever doing. Okay. Command sounds good because she was a little bit of a control freak on her date with Malcolm. She ordered all the food, so Command might be good. Bethany will occasionally disgust others by kissing uncontrollably. A guilty drinker. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay, we're going for the hissing. There we go. That's fine, but I think she got the be able to control others. I want to test this out. She could test it out on her brother, but um, I just want to see if we can do this. How's Rose doing? Oh, share the Winterfest spirit. Okay, we do that, but uh, command. Command to be mean, command to work out, command to sit, command to clean. Command to repair. How come there's not a command to share the Winterfest spirit? That I would have used right away. All right. All right. That's that's a neat one. Uh, we'll try that out with uh, not one of our friends first, but um, someone in a little bit. Oh, okay. The morning is coming along. Now, we've just been blabbing away. Tristan, Rose are working on skills. Bethany, we don't really have any skill for you to do, so you can, sure, keep going around cleaning. That works for me. And the other two are asleep. Um, Rika Berto, I think he's going to leave Moira alone for a while. Oh, yeah, his room, his room. I just packed up with stuff he stole, and I think this espionage set um, was, what can you do with it? View play for work, enable emotional aura, sure. Um this uh, must have been Nancy's because she was a spy. I want to see if there was a bat in there too. Oh, he can en enable the emotional aura of the bat. Okay. Oh, let's just enable emotional auras on all these things. Oh, return stolen object? No, 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 no. So I put the um, the balance uh, candle stick here that he stole from the goths in his room. He's got these other items he stole. I don't know where the baseball bat came from, but it seemed to fit with Rigoberta. I was hoping he'd put it in his inventory and just sort of carry it around, but it wouldn't let me do that. And then this he gained from the criminal career, and this uh, was Nancy, so he took it, which is fine. Uh, what's everybody going on about? Who is it that's chatting away? Oh, Bethany's just watching TV. That's fine. It's early in the morning. I think once guys wake up here, uh, I will have them unwrap presents right away. 
but I do want Bobby working on this thing as well, um, because I do have, I want him to play around with that. I know there's things he can do on it. Actually, let's have a look. Use. Oh, I guess you have to use it. Okay, we'll let him sleep and we'll do that in a little bit. Oh, Rose isn't doing anything. I want to see what she can do. Oh, she can cook mac and cheese in the cauldron. Okay, that's going to be their winter fest dinner. And that's where we're going to go from here. I think we're going to zip ahead. Uh, Bethany will call over Malcolm uh, for Winterfest, but in a little bit. It's early. Okay, um, what do we want to call this video? This is the energized vlog video. This is going to be about Winterfest. So i got to think of a good name. Uh, uh, so, uh, Winterfest. Winterfest, a guide. No, it's a title, A Guide to Stealing Presents. Yeah. Um, and I don't think I'm going to put a description here because I'm <laughs> trying a blank. Actually, here, Winterfest. The description is A Guide to Stealing Presents. There we go. I did that a little backwards. But there's the name of our video. We'll start editing it. we got to get it up for Winterfest. Okay, so everybody's awake or just about to be awake. I think Bobby, since he's the youngest one, he should uh, open presents with, like, everybody. We're going to get them to open up a couple presents just so that their Winterfest is not horrible. And then we are going to have, um, yeah, I have a plan for the rest of Winterfest, which should be most of this part. It might not be the most exciting part, but, I mean, Last part, we got a lot done, so we're going to take it a little easy with this part and just sort of see where everything goes. So, Tristan, you're there. You can open a present. Who else is there? Okay, Bethany's getting here. Open present. Oh, oh, good. They're all happy, which is good. Um, somebody got a Zen yoga mat. Oh, Tristan. Okay, well, you might have to give that to those. Hey, they're all getting... Oh, let's... Let's get them all open presents and we'll see what they got. Where's Rose? Oh, Rose was asleep. Okay. She'll be down in a minute. I don't know why she's asleep. Um, wow. Okay, they've got a lot of stuff here. Okay. Oh, no. He bears have got a lump of coal. That's why he's not happy. But that makes sense. <laughs> That's really appropriate. I love it. Bobby got, oh, an electronic upgrade part, a common upgrade part, a kitchen upgrade part, a plumbing upgrade part. He will treasure it. Uh, Bethany got one orange topaz. She will treasure it. Tristan got one Zen yoga mat. He will treasure it. Okay. Well, he also got a little bit more famous. So I actually want to check, oops, his fame after we see what Rose got. They can keep opening presents, whoever's not busy, but uh, what'd she get? She got a Just For Me bath basket. That's okay. So poor Rigoberto got the lump of coal, but it kind of makes sense. So he's chatting with Bobby. Okay, Tristan, we want to check his, his fame. He's getting up there. He's still not a one-star celebrity yet, but he's getting there. Okay, so next thing... Oh, anger management. Sometimes I just get so angry that I don't know what to do with myself. How can I deal with things when I can't even do a workout? <sighs> okay. Some who gave it Rose advised Bobby. Okay, Rose would advise that, but Bobby would not do that. Again, very appropriate. Oh, Bobby. Okay, run to the run to the washroom in your new place. Then I mean you're okay. You are getting a little hungry, but Rose will make an early dinner in the cauldron. Um, because right now we want to use this thing because Something is happening. We are expanding the Bobby story with this thing. Oh, this is cool. I have used this before, but not in a long time. All right. Nerd brain. Finish reading three books. Uh, achieve level three logic skill. Oh, okay. So it, whatever he did, it increased his logic skill, but... Doesn't seem to do much else. I thought it did things. Oh, okay. Well, he's using that. I'm going to um, just stop here because he is using that to do something. We're using it for something else.
So I'm going to zip a little bit ahead here because um, it's going to take me a couple minutes to get this set up and get it working. So um, yeah, be right back in a second. So welcome back, Bobby. I think it was time for Bobby to get through his phase. Yeah, the braids needed to go. Uh, I think part of it was, um, part of the reason was because he had gone out last night. He sort of had fun, but nobody really liked him. So there's two things I want to do with Bobby today. The first thing being, I wanted to get him back to the Bobby we know and love. Uh, it was a bit of a shock when he uh, aged out from a child to a teenager, but I think we've got our Bobby back here. This, this is Bobby. And the other thing was, uh, as I said, he tried making friends last night. It didn't quite work. So instead, I made a friend for Bobby. See? Easy. What Bobby was doing on this computer, on this machine, not computer, was he cloned himself. Um, so this is Robbie, Robbie Bowles, uh, Bobby's clone. Um, because Bobby Everybody thinks they're going to be friends, and we shall see. Can't get a really good look at Bobby here. Oh, he, he's, he's a little more, <laughs> although he's a clone of Bobby's, he's a little more muscular. He's oh. loving the long blonde hair. Um, and um, he's a little different, where Bobby is evil and um, a, a genius. Uh, Robbie, if we could get a good look at his face here. There we go. Robbie is a bro, a romantic, and he's a party animal. Oh, and the cow plant in the background is starving. So, um, okay, they're going to go do their thing. So that's a new character to our family, Bobby's clone Robbie. I think it, um, and it will be his best friend, here's hoping, even though they have, like, nothing in common. But um, that's where we're going with that. So, yeah. Uh, it is, everybody's eating already, but um, what we're going to do here is I want Rose to use this cauldron to cook mac and cheese. So on top of their winter fest gifts, Rose, uh, Rose got a cauldron on top of it and Bobby got that cloning machine. So this has got to be a good winter fest for them. Bobby is complaining about winter fest. Well, you're about to have your meals. So don't worry about it. I just love the two of these together. They are like clones oh, clone yeah. twin brothers but they are complete opposites i love it oh rose is cooking away oh that is awesome our witch is making mac and cheese in a cauldron for winterfest can it get much better than this i don't think so cow plant needs something though okay bobby go and feed the cow plant oh you were gonna do that anyway it looks like oh no, you may have been going to eat the cake we don't don't need that there we go feed the cow Oh, he disappeared. I thought he was getting eaten. I was like, no, no, no. And then he can play with the cow plant. I thought he took the bait of the cake and gotten eaten. Honestly, I thought, oh no, I did all that work and boom, Bobby's gone. But at least the cow plant gets a bit of Winterfest too with being fed and played with. Everyone's having a great Winterfest. Bobby, don't complain. The other thing is, I want Bethany, uh, how are you doing, girl? You're, you're getting thirsty. Um, Rose is still making the mac and cheese. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Oh, she's just about done. So, Bethany, let's wake you up, and you're going to invite your beau over. Invite to hang out. Oh, she's doing some grumpy pet parking. Oh, look at everybody dressed up in their winter wear. Caleb, that's the one that Rose painted a picture of. We're not going to be dealing with that today. I, I couldn't remember his name the other day, but uh, Bethany's going to invite her beau, Malcolm, over to share Winterfest. I mean, it is the first Winterfest without his mother, Nancy, so he's either very happy about that or not happy about that at all. Where is Robbie? What is he doing? Oh, the brothers are just hanging out. I like this. I love the new looks. He's oh, there's boring. Malcolm. Okay, Bethany, you gotta let Malcolm in. Huh? He's just, oh, he looks a little sad. Oh, Bethany. Okay, Malcolm is running around. He's going right to the new guy. Um, tell a dramatic story. Uh, give a Winterfest gift. Um, what would 
Let's give the orange topaz. She's re-gifting the best pie. You might like that. And Robbie is not really impressed by all being surrounded by evil sims, but that's okay. Robbie, how are you doing? You are fine, so I'm just gonna let you do your thing and we'll figure out what your character is, is doing. You are going to ask for advice from Rosemary and Bethany. I think at the same time, we might want to see if um, maybe Malcolm wants to move back in now. Let's brighten his day. She can't ask him to uh, ask him into the household. I think we're going to do that. This has been a long time coming, and I don't want. Uh, oh, she's got to be romantic. Compliment his appearance. She is probably getting hungry for some... Uh, oh, she's got the uh, plasma pack. So, kiss under the mistletoe. Oh, Bethany's reached charisma uh, level 3. Awesome! Because she needs to... Compared to a long-lost love? I don't think so. Oh, they're gonna kiss under the mistletoe. You've got a romance going here. Alright. Bethany. Uh... Oh, and she's giving him the gift. Let's watch this of the... Oh, he likes it. He likes it. Oh, their romance is way up there. <gasps> Let's take it to the next level. Let's have a little Winterfest love. We'll check in with everybody else. And then Bethany is absolutely going to ask Malcolm to join the household. And maybe we're going to give him a little makeover, too. That might be something. Okay, let's check it with me, Robbie. He's just happy. He's just like, I'm happy to be alive. So, so, Hello, I'm Tristan. My name is Robbie. Alright, they're chatting. How's everybody else doing? Is Rigoberto still... No, he gave up. Oh, he's talking to Bobby. He's like, love the new look. Love the new look. Oh, they're going to woohoo in Rigoberto's bed? What? Oh, well, whatever. Bobby, you, you, you're kind of in the way here yeah i don't think this is the best spot for some privacy <laughs> oh they're not going to do it well yeah no kidding everyone's in the space go up to your bed Ooh, Mount malcolm there you go have some fun it's winterfest everybody's energized or feeling good should she call everyone to meal she did make that wonderful mac and cheese in their cauldron okay well we'll give Bethany and who's calling you? Weston? I get the scoop that some crazy party is happening. No. Oh, finally Robbie found somebody to ask advice from. Hi, I'm just newly alive because I'm a clone and I'm suddenly like 16, 17 years old, but I have really cool shades. What should I do about it? Okay, that's what I think you would ask, but here we go. I feel like I'm old enough now that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want and do whatever I want. Can you treat me like an adult, please? You're like 10 minutes old. You were born 10 minutes ago. <laughs> you'll always be my baby, not until you've grown more. I don't know who would say you'll always be my baby, but not until you've grown more. It was Rose, yeah. You're not Rose's baby. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, it's Rosemary's baby. That's the one I'm thinking of. That's another reference. It's very old. Oh, Santa Claus is giving us more gifts. <gasps> you know what? Robbie and Malcolm didn't get gifts. So, Robbie, you can open up... Okay, you're going to the bathroom. You can open up a present. Why not? Break out the candles. Make it romantic. Bethany is about to woo-woo for her first time. Or at least that's what she's telling Malcolm. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm loving this part. I, After the last part, I had a lot of ideas, like giving Robbie a new quote-unquote friend, and Bethany and Malcolm, their relationship just really moving forward. I was so happy with the way these two characters are going. I know I'm sort of focusing on those two storylines uh, more than the others, but the others really just got to skill up, so. <laughs> Who would give one peach cube by Paltry Predictions Inc. as a gift? Robbie isn't particularly happy about this. I don't know what a future cube is, so. It sounds pretty cool, but I guess it's just not his thing. Um, he is kind of a cool looking guy. <laughs> I like it. Um, he looks a lot like Bethany. Bobby is taking it back. He's sad. Schmoo, schmoo, schmoo. Sometimes wild mad thoughts enter one's head. This is one of those times. Yeah, he's a little crazy, I guess. 
Uh, Bethany, are you guys done? You are. Okay, so let's... Why are they unhappy? That's not right. More choices, friendly. Okay, their hearts are going up. Ask to join household. Malcolm, you left just after... Oh, good, she's eating her plasma pack, which is great. Okay, Robbie. Robbie needs a bed. <laughs> Can Kubu Koiba? Yes. <laughs> All right, moving in together. Click OK to go to split household and move and modify. OK, so we're adding Malcolm yeah. now. Because he was living with this weird um, weird guy. We moved him out. Um, transfer Sam's. We're not going to be greedy, but we are going to take half the money. Oh, and the money is just going up and up and up. Because Malcolm must have earned some money while he was there. He is now part of our household. Okay, so I'm not sure what happened there. It made me want to play the other guy that was part of Malcolm's original household. Uh, so Malcolm is, he is now part of, part of the Masters of Evil gameplay along with Robbie. I thought after losing Nancy, you know, such a heartbreaker, it was time to change up the family a little bit and bring our dear Bobby back to his former glory of not wanting hair. Let's face it, Bobby is beautiful. Um, I don't think I'm going to play too much more ahead here. I do want Rose. I think they need to have a family meal. Oh, oh, Tristan's talking to Santa Claus. Well, hey, let's see if Santa Claus fight Father Winter for presents. Oh my God, can Rigoberto do that? Oh, that's a Rigoberto thing. Not a Tristan thing. Tristan would want to get in good with him. I think Tristan should... Uh, give him a friendly introduction. Maybe Father Christmas uh, is going to be part of this. I love all the characters right now. I think this is a wonderful gameplay. Okay. Chatting with Clement and Rose. His name's Clement? Clement Frost. Okay, you better say hello before Rigoberto takes him out. All right, I want to see this. Oh, okay. Will Rigoberto finally win a fight? Oh, the presents are flying. Oh, no. Oh no, Rigoberto's picking a fight with Father Christmas. This is so evil. Nope. <laughs> oh, Rose is like down with Father Christmas or whatever his name is. Father Winter Time. <laughs> this fight is going on. I think Rigoberto has gotten into a bit of shape. Usually the fights are really quick and he's a loser. Oh my god! This is horrible! But I love it! Oh, Rigoberto still lost. Clement and Rigoberto now despise each other. Oh well. Rigoberto, do you need any more enemies? Have a declared enemy. Get into five fights. I, I don't know if that counted as one or not. Tristan, though. Yeah, Tristan, you're going to get in good with him. Give him a friendly and trust. Why are these two getting along? Like, they say they don't like each other, but they're, like, laughing and having fun. Come on, Tristan, get in there. Give him a friendly introduction. Everyone wants to talk to Clement. All right. Um, who did not get a gift? Oh, Malcolm. Why is he sad? Oh, lost in the family. Okay, so he's still a little sad. Oh, Bobby and Bethany are catching up. She's like, you should have just gotten a car instead of uh, a clone. Would have been a lot cheaper. But you know what? They're getting a lot. Okay, uh, Malcolm, you know, you've had a rough little while. You deserve a present. Oh my God, it's 11.30 at night. You're going to open a present. Let's forget all that. You're going to open a present. And whoa, there's our garden gnome on top of the mausoleum, which I think is fantastic. I did mention that Nancy and uh, Jeffrey's... I can't get a view on the, uh, not tunes. What are those things called again? Well, their ashes are in the mausoleum. Okay, Malcolm, let's see what present you get. Rose, no, you're not going to sleep. You're going to have to call everyone to meal. Call to meal. What a wonderful winter fest. Oh, Bethany's just following Malcolm around. Oh, what is she doing? Oh, she's taking another one. Good for you. Malcolm got one Yuki. He will treasure it. Well, that's good. Oh, he loves that gift. Okay. But he's giving a thumbs down for something. Well, that's fine. Oh, Rose, come on. Call everyone to meal. That's what we need you to do. Are you stuck on something here? Oh, no. There you go. Oh, there's Father Christmas. He's on the computer. 
That's fine. Tristan, everyone's around the presents again. Maybe they should all take another present. Sure. Open a present. Dad. Uh, Bobby, open a present. Who else is here? Rose, Rose, after you call everyone's meal, you can open a present. Why not? Who else is here? Malcolm, you just open a present. Where is Robbie? Oh, Robbie's sleeping. Oh, we need to give Robbie a bed. <laughs> okay, no one likes the future cube. Not sure why. Seems good. Oh, I want to get a shot of everybody around the cauldron. Oh, Rose is the witch. This is wonderful. Oh, Rigoberto. Okay, you can get another gift. Um, I guess Robbie will only get one present, because really he is only like 10 minutes old. I think everybody... Uh, Rose got one kept spice rack. Oh, that will be good. She will treasure it. That makes perfect sense, because she's got a... Ooh. How are her herbs doing? Oh, Jeffrey's here. Well, I think he's going to be stuck in there and nobody will get sad and he won't destroy anything, I hope. But that's it. So, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do off screen is I'm going to have to put a second bed in Bobby and Robbie's room. But I think this is a great spot to end and what a great shot we've got all of our characters here except robbie and jeffrey in the background the new masters of evil new and improved i really hope you guys enjoyed this part i actually love this part i think this is one of my favorite parts um in the masters of evil i love to see the characters developing and new characters in old characters out um we have a lot more to do and i'm looking forward to it Again, thanks everybody for watching. Peace and love.